So for this example, we have now f of x is equal to 2 times the greatest integer of x. So in this particular problem, if we look at the order of operations, we solve what's inside the brackets and then multiply by 2. So when we start simplifying this, we're going to do what's inside the brackets first and then multiply our result by 2. So the greatest integer not greater than 0 is going to be 0. 0 times 2 is still 0. Of 0.25 would round to 0 times 2 is still 0. 0.5 would round down to 0 times 2 is still 0. 1 would round to 1 and then be 2. 1.25 would round down to 1 and then times 2. 1.5 would round down to 1 times 2. 2 would round to 2 times 2 is 4. 2.25 rounds to 2 times 2 is 4. So now again, we're going to use these as my x values and these as my y or f of x values. Okay, and so if we plot these, 0, 0, 0.25 or a quarter is at 0, 1 half is at 0, when you get to 1, it jumps to 2. 1 and a quarter is at 2. 1 and a half is at 2. When we get to 2, it jumps to 4. And then 2 and a quarter. And you can see that these little steps are forming. And we're going to put that open circle where it jumps. So it goes over and it jumps at that value, over and jumps at that value. And if you notice, these are going by 2. So when I go down, I'm going to go down 2 spots and over 1. And then do 2 spots and over 1. So that is my graph of this one. For the domain, again, I can put in any x value. So x is an element in the set of all real. For my range, this one's a little more complicated. We don't have all integers. We have all every other integer or all integers that are multiple of 2. So f of x is equal to 2n, and n is an integer. So what does that mean? If I take any integer and multiply it by 2, those are the numbers I'm going to get. So you can also say it's a multiple of 2 or even integers. Okay. So that's how we're going to do a greatest integer function in which the, this is different order of operation, so we're rounding first, then multiplying by 2, and you can see the result if we're careful with our math, and then thinking about if it's not every integer, what is changing? So if I say 2n, it's going by 2s. Okay.